Hey guys, how is it going? And well, today we'll be talking about customization on Android devices. Now, we all know that one of the major reasons we prefer Android over other mobile operating system is because we can customize it the way we want it. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about those apps. We'll be looking at how you can change the status bar, the volume toggles, the quick settings and whatnot. My friend Varun also has some amazing recommendations for you all and then we have a bonus at the end of this video. So make sure you watch till the end. So well, what are we waiting for? My name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. Okay, so the very first and my personal recent favorite app in the list has to be Super Status Bar. Now you can think of it as converting your normal status bar into a Swiss knife. This app adds various functionality to your phone's status bar. You can add gestures to control the brightness or volume, the tap gestures to launch different apps or toggle the settings and even change the way the notification display onto your screen. It is simple yet so functional at so many levels and I'm sure you'll end up loving it. Okay, so moving on, the next up in the list is Okay, wait a second. I think Varun is quite eager this time to come on the camera and tell his apps to all of you. So, well, over to you, Varun, right now. Hey guys, what's up? Sorry to barge in like this, but I was just way too excited for this video. See, the thing is that most of the features that you'll see or the apps that you'll see are actual features that were present on custom ROMs. Something that I really, really enjoy and it's close to my heart. So I just really wanted to share these apps with you. Now, the first app on my list is called Fluid Navigation Gestures. So these days, every phone comes with gesture navigation, which is great. But the way every OEM actually delivers it, well, let's just say that the end user experience will not be the same for every user out there. See, the thing is, I get to try out all the devices out there. And while I do love the gesture navigation on some devices, on some others, I'm not going to name them right now, the experience is not that good. Well, that's where this app comes in. So you need to give it access via ADB, but once it is done, it's so good. You can easily set custom gestures for the bottom bar along with gestures for the side edges as well. And not just activities, you can use it to launch apps as well. Now it really makes your daily usage quite snappy without hogging up resources or taking up your screen. Now another app that I use quite often is Shared DR. Now I know that a lot of you guys might not have heard of this app but that's on you guys because that's your fault. This app is something that you should definitely, definitely try out. It's basically, well let's just say that Android's share menu is way too flawed and this app, well it fixes it. Basically, it replaces Android's native share dialog with something that's more robust and customizable. Now you can pin the apps you want and remove the apps you don't like to appear on the share screen. Heck, you can even rearrange the order, a basic functionality missing from the stock experience. Now my favorite part here is that you can even choose to view it as a grid or a list. It's definitely a shame that Android by stock does not offer these features but then again that makes this app all the more better since well it adds on that basic functionality and fixes a lot of complaints that we have with android's share menu now i also have another recommendation for you guys but that will be in the bonus section which will be at the end of this video so make sure that you watch the video till the very end but for now i'm gonna hang this video back to ashish so that he can continue with his recommendations Okay, so the next one in the list is bottom quick settings and with today's smartphone designs, this has to be the must have app on every Android phone. I mean, let's talk about phone screens. It's move on to 6.5 inches and even 6.7 inches. And for such reasons, you must try out this app. So as the name suggests, this app brings a custom quick settings and notification panel at the bottom of your screen, much like we have seen on the Vivo devices. You can use it to access quick toggles such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and pretty much everything you want. And cause it's customizable, you can also get the notification shared so it's easier not only to see but also to reply to messages. And now the next one is pretty new and it recently came into our radar which is Volume Styles. Yes, this particular app brings in different kind of volume styles 
on your Android device. You can apply various different themes like iOS, MIUI, OxygenOS, or even the stock AOSP. Depending on whether you are left-handed or right-handed, you can change the position of the volume bar too. Other than that, there are different animations along with the ability to add custom apps too. And I'm back. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, see, I told you I'll be back for the bonus section. And this is where my favorite app comes in. Now, if you've been following us on our Instagram, which you should, by the way, with the link in the description box, so you'll see that we are great fans of amazing home screen setups. We generally do spend a lot of time making amazing setups. So once again, please do follow us. But the most crucial part of a home screen is, well, for me at least, it's the widget. And that's where this next app comes in, which is called KWGT. So KWGT or Custom Widget Maker is the modern replacement to Zuper Widget, except that this is so much better and customizable. Not only do you have access to thousands of widget packs that themselves have hundreds of widgets, each and every module of it can be customized to the basic level. Now there is one catch here, which is that you'll have to buy the full paid version for it to get the full experience. But then again, for $4.49 or 150 rupees here in India, that is a pretty sweet deal. So there you have it. All the apps right there to customize your Android device. I'm sure you must have liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button right now. And we are trying our best so that Varun can come and anchor for you. Like throughout the video, you'll be able to see him. So please give us a thumbs up like the best of luck for that as well. And well, all in all, that's all in this video and how I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.